some technical problems with our camera and so through the, about the first 10 minutes or so of this tape you'll see horizontal lines going through your picture thought you'd met you would rather see that action than have us edit it out so our apologies hope you enjoy the tape anyway thanks okay we're gonna pick up the two top polo shady threes again the day after the work that we just saw this is a show flock right now this is right after the day after he did the 170, 210. He's done some stretching already. And he'll be lifting the day after tomorrow just to really put this in perspective. We've got Shimon doing some stretching here. He's done some squats with just the bar. Some good mornings. Listen up the knees, hips, the ankles. I wonder, if, I wonder if it's squatting. Looks like it is. Seventy kilos. Some on first seventy kilos. Shot of the coach's back. And show flat. 70 kilos. Shimon, 70 again. Kilos. Uh, given the position I am, there's going to be a lot of people probably walking in front of the camera, but that's just going to be the way it goes for this. Do the best I can. 100. again. Okay, in yesterday's workout, I remember there were lots and lots of warm-up sets with light weights in the snatch and clean and jerk. Maybe we'll see the same thing in the clean in the snatch. Same thing, sorry, in the squat today. tomorrow and they went heavy yesterday in the clean and jerk. In fact, the looks that they, that uh, Shufalak did in the gym yesterday might be enough to win the contest. 160.
160. Sixty. Two ten. Two twenty. Eighty three kilo lifter competing in the world championships in two days. This guy's probably squat around 50 kilos more than this, or more, at least 50 kilos more than this, I should say. These guys had about a 15 minute break, sat down. Once again, even though it's hot and humid, I've been walking around sweating all day. Uh, Shoflak, when he sat down, had his jacket on. Just did a set of poles with seven kilos. And uh, now this is 110. I missed that first one, I'm sorry. Notice that he's got his palms wrapped. I don't know if he tore a callus or not. really, really emphasizing that shrug at the top, a lot of trap on the top. 110 again.
This is 150. I asked the coaches whether he had torn a talus, and uh, he said no, his palms are just the wrap because they hurt. His hands hurt. It was 150. 140. And uh, Shimon's got his right hand bandaged too. Torn callus isn't something they'd want to have to deal with in the championship, so I hope their hands are okay. He's probably going to go up to about his catch rate. He's starting to go up on his toes now a little bit, which he wasn't doing on the light sets, I don't think. 91 kilo lifter and he's about to clean and jerk 200 kilos. Pretty decent. Had to work a little on that recovery, huh? Boom. Nice jerk. That's a good lift. Coach just told him that's it. That's his toss. The lift. I think he's quite happy with that. Decent lift. This is the, the Polish 108 Mario Shihedra. This is 220. Yeah, interestingly, he started off with squats. He squatted up to me. I don't know. I think I saw 230. I was just kind of watching out of the corner of my eye. I'm not even sure what he was doing after the squats. Now clean jerks, I say this is 220. Getting a pretty decent weight in this category. from the training hall this afternoon. It lifts tomorrow. It's at least a second set. Yeah, 50 kilos going again here. Kilos. Go 
Coach is still watching every single lift. George Perry is watching every single lift, standing right by the platform. Encouraging Pablo, telling him what to do, giving him little pointers. Defending world champion, one day out. The 80 months ago. Got a hundred here. Hundred. Mm -hmm. There's that war cry. I mean, we talk about bagpipes, fear in the hearts of their enemies. Those competitors, when I heard him go through that, I thought I was all over pretty much. <laughs> 80 kilos. I missed a couple of sets. Missed a couple of sets. So, so I blue just cleaned a jerk 200 down at the other end of the training hall. So he's not really backing off too much. It's in a few days. Three days out, I guess it is. are very relaxed. I was just kidding with him. Competition wow. Coach is standing by the side, looking, commenting and everything. Advice. One twenty again. It's kind of interesting, you know. You think at a, a guy this low, he'd say, oh, well, I'll do a couple sets, I'll loosen up, I know how to do this, I'm just going to win the gold tomorrow, but you can see, drill, drill, drill. This is very interesting to me, at least. Uh, it's Wednesday morning, it's about 9.30. This is uh, one of the Polish 76 kilo lifters, Kozlowski. Kozlowski's in here also. What's really interesting is, uh, as I say, it's about 9.30 in the morning, these guys compete at about 5.30 tonight. So here they are, loosening up. Just, uh, I think, uh, getting relaxed, going through technique stuff. But the morning of the competition, here they are in the gym. Here's Kaczynski, the other 76 kilo competitor. These guys are both top flight lifters. You know, this makes me think that, um, Someone's told by a Bulgarian coach that they had found that a little light work in the morning, the day of competition, produced better results. Of course, that's in keeping with the general Bulgarian belief and I guess finding that just the more you do, the better you do. So anyway, here these guys are in the training hall the morning of the big day. Let's not exaggerate the edge now. That's 40 kilos over there. And, uh, with Kaczynski, we had 50, 50 kilos on that set that we just saw with Kozlowski. I don't know how long they've been here, but I don't think more than maybe 15, 20 minutes. Just to guess, but that's all I think. Kozlowski, man. He um, put a little weight in the bar. He's up to 70 kilos now. That's the coach sitting behind him. Not exactly the embodiment of Mary. Kosinski over there. 
still at 40 kilos. Kaczynski going up to 50 kilos now. And Kozlowski with 80. Very deliberate pace. At 70 kilos. Seventy kilos over there. These guys, you know, they'll clean jump around the neighborhood two hundred kilos. So, get an idea of the percentage basis, what kind of weights we're talking about here. Eighty kilos. Kozlowski's done. This is Kaczynski still going. It's up to 90 kilos now. actually caught that stretch or not. I haven't really caught much of the stretching so far in these guys here. Warm up the bar. Yeah, there's comments I made earlier about uh, the Bulgarian police supposedly light training session in the morning before a day of competition producing better results. I was talking to Martin Lynch, who's the national men's coach for Australia. About it. He said Blagoja Blagoja um, back in the days when he was snatching around 190 kilos as a 90 kilo lifter, Bulgarian of course, used to in the morning of a competition day snatch up to about 150 and then come out that, that was in the morning and then that evening the competition come out and do something in the 190 zone. So it really does uh, seem to work and it really does seem to be something the Bulgarians do and now you've seen that the Poles actually do it. So anyway, these two guys are one day out and uh, looking at probably the favorites for favorite right here, I think, Schoflak for the 83 kilo class tomorrow. Anyway, I'll stick to this workout unless perhaps say for any Weller comes in. I might stop and pick up Weller, but for right now we're gonna just stick with Schoflak. Just the bar loosening up. Did some stretching, seems to be very flexible. Shimon stretching out his knees before using the bar and getting down a squat position going from side to side. Maybe I'll do it again so you can see the movement he was going through. Really warming up the lower back, knees. Yeah, this is 
this is it. Yeah. So I was doing twists in a full squat position. I wish he'd do a couple more now because he was doing them a little bit more aggressively before. I missed that first sharp because I was blocked with uh, 50 kilos, but this is uh, show flash just starting off. I think I have a lot of people on this here. Hopefully I just did a set with 50. Shimo, 50 to the first set. Nice breeze coming in here. I'll tell you, I'm glad they were here for the cool dry season because this is hot, humid place. Soggy from morning to night. So I mentioned if Weller comes in, we're gonna cut over there. Um, he came, he arrived last night, and my German friends tell me he's in just awesome shape. Evidently did 200, 250 at uh, last Bundesliga test. Of course, I also heard Jermerkin is supposedly bigger than ever. Uh, so it could prove to be quite a battle. Everyone's disappointed, of course, that Stefan Botev's not going to be here. We can now talk about that officially. It was confidential for some reason until, uh, probably till today, shoulder injury. I'm missing a 250 jerk in training. Tried to save it up front. Just oh my God, another guy. Back in there with 50 again. Back in with 50 again. I'm gonna try to pick up all these sets that you really so you can really get an idea how these guys train. I mean, if I had a guess, they're not going to go very heavy today, but who knows what not very heavy means, because for these guys, first of all, of course, they're really strong, also, they recover very quickly. I don't even want to guess what they're going to go up to. But I do notice that uh, that coach who could pass for the Grim Reaper's not here this afternoon. Maybe he's on his way. He has 70 kilos now. <laughs> 70 kilos. I don't know if I mentioned what we're into a Wednesday afternoon now. So this is an afternoon training session. It's about quarter after two local time. And again, these guys compete tomorrow, 83 kilo. Seventy kilos again.
90 kilos. Yeah, I'm not trying to do a commercial here for Adidas as an 90 kilo set. But I've noticed a lot more of uh, this latest Adidas shoe that came out, I don't know, maybe a couple years ago. Black stripe and those two buckles, the straps. I used to think those things looked really horrible and couldn't figure out what people were going to do with the buckles. And I know some of the lifters must have agreed about the straps and the buckles because when you first saw them showing up, other guys were cutting the straps off. But the shoe's a lot more common now than it used to be, and I don't see as many with the straps cut off anymore. So either they're getting them for free or they like them, or both. Shimon. 120 for Shimon. Okay, 
Okay, we've had maybe 10, 15 minute break. Um, sat down, just relaxed, chatted a little bit. And uh, now it's clean jerk time. 50 kilos. platform held it. Yeah, I was supposed to go all the way back out again, but he didn't. He's really taking his time to establish his position. We have 50 kilos going here. I said that we'd stick with the poles over there and last time we came in and sure enough he came in. The German teams here just started to stretch and warm it up, and there's Ronnie Well himself. As I say, it's supposed to be in great, great shape. We're going to hear some Thai music, too. A bunch of kids right outside here listening to the radio. I think. I show you the whole stretch in real time. I shouldn't have cut out. That's Frank Mantuck, the general coach. Ronnie was stretching his knees out. With those quads. This is uh, Sergei Kopitov, by the way. Lifting for Kazakhstan now. I'm not quite following. There he goes. I might follow some of his workout as well. I'm not sure because he goes back to me, but I think Frank is checking the workout for today. I'm sure they have a very precise plan for what they want to do. Sergey Kopitar walking in front of the camera. Uh, I don't know if you can see Ronnie loosening up his shoulders. Mm, loosening up his hips. Touching his toes. Here. I've seen Ronnie uh, in the start workouts before. I'm always very careful about stretching when I've seen him. You need lots of water training here, I'll tell you. You just sweat. And sweat, and sweat. So that Frank's bringing water around here, what it looks like. Sigurd Kopitoff. He didn't pass out, he's stretching out his hips. Just loosen up his hamstrings. Ugh. <sighs> 
there's something you don't see like whatever he's going to do first he's starting off with 120 kilos a couple Easy clean poles or clean devil from shrugs, depending on how you want to look at them. At 120 again. Same move. Yeah. I just switch sides and get one because we. Yeah, I just went from one side to the other. Guys, I'm here. He's got a definite plan. That's all I guessed. I missed this set before this, which was 2.30. Forgot to turn the camera on. in uh, Bundesliga, so probably looking for even more than this on Sunday. Some squats. Not sure. I, yeah, I saw how it pulls 255, whether I did or not. That's what it was 255. And open up 70 kilos in the squat. Yeah, 120. We're going at a pretty leisurely pace here as far as you know, long rest periods in between the sets. Just a little jump here from 120 to 200. It's 200 kilos. Of course, it's still a big way for money, but it's a big jump. Interesting. I was looking in his training log right before this, and I could see what the weight was. Say, so this is all according to a strict schedule. This isn't uh, so-called instinctive training. Log. Yeah, it's like there's no weight. Yeah, it's just under 500 pounds. Close to 500 pounds, I guess. We had 240, 240 pounds. You should still be standing up with this real easily since 240 is going to be well below what he's going to clean and jerk on, undoubtedly on Sunday. That's, that's, by the way, when Ronnie competes. He competes on Sunday, and today is Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. I can't really get him 
much easier than that, huh? This is 260. I don't think this is even going to look too hard for him. Look at that. Doesn't really look like he's trying to express his I'll have to try to find out what his best squad is. pick this up. I know these aren't heavy weights, but I think, I think there's a really important lesson here to see exactly what these guys are doing in the morning of the biggest competition of the year. And uh, you'll see in practice this theory, you know, I guess as far as I know, originally developed by the Bulgarians of go light the morning of the day when you want to do real heavy lifts at night. I would imagine the Poles, too, um, like the Bulgarians, are used to training throughout the day, you know, uh, multiple training sessions throughout the day, so their bodies are used to this idea of training, recovering, training, recovering. So this is, I would think, competition day is probably viewed as a rest day for these guys only training twice a day, and the first one being very light, and the second one, of course, being the actual competition. But anyway, that's the reason for showing this, because as I say, I think it's good to see exactly what they're be doing nine hours before they're going for the big ones. Let them show for like 70 kilos again. You know, this is, a, I would imagine, a uh, hundred some kilos below what he's going to snatch tonight. I would expect him to snatch 170 something. Now, conceivably, 180, who knows? And once again, think of how many repetitions this guy has done in this lift. I mean, how trained his body and his mind is in this lift. But he's taking this very seriously and still just drilling, drilling, drilling. Because you can never be too good at something. And now here she goes. They're, um, he's got 70 kilos. Sorry, as I said, they're training on two platforms opposite each other. You know, one lifts and then the other lifts and so on and so forth. The training hall is quiet this early in the morning. The Cubans were the only ones who were consistently coming in for the morning session, which is typical. I mean, that's typical that's quiet in the morning. standing right beside there, watching it exactly. You know, much like what we saw with pa Pablo Lara. See, look at it, low instructions, low instructions, yeah. People are still talking, by the way, about last night, and Pablo Lara bombing out. Um, the only thing I've heard so far on that, by the way, is that he had had some rest after winning the Olympics and had been back in training intensely for about two months, so it wasn't in top form. Possibility, I heard um, one knowledgeable observer that watching the jerks, that there might have been something wrong with one of the shoes. But uh, frankly, anyone watching those lists knows it was just plain hard for him to stand up even with his opener. So um, it wasn't what he hoped for, but it was a great night for Yota Yotov. In fact, 76 is just in general is a great competitive class. A little rest here. Um, all time, it's probably about 15 minutes, I guess, 10, 15 minutes, and then we'll do some clean and jerks. But just sit down, drink a little water, relax. And they're very quiet, although they're, they're noticeably more relaxed than they were during training, where it was very serious atmosphere. 
The rust was much shorter than I thought. Maybe they had a break of about five minutes or so. Five to ten minutes. Comes back in fifty kilos. again over here too. I think I might have mentioned earlier really take a lot of these guys roll the plates over and pick them up and carry them and I just tried to catch the into that with a show flat hole and the 15 over on the other side rather than, rather than carrying it. I can only think it's to save energy. And we've got another set of uh, 50 kilos going over here. Is demonstrating something. By the way, uh, he's really loosened up. Even smiling. I think he said hello to me today. I don't know. Now look, look how closely he's watching this. Okay, this is 80 kilos. Um, this is a guy who is back in a clean over 200 kilos tonight. And they're treating this 80 very, very seriously. Well, I think they're going to miss that set with 70. And we got 90 going over here. a hundred. So now we're starting to get in the range of 50% of what he's going to do tonight. So we're going to wish these guys a lot of luck tonight. I think uh, Shorefox has got to be, I think, the favorite. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. I had a good time watching these guys. 
This is Yuri Miskovitz of Russia. I had forgotten to turn the microphone on when he was going through his morning training. Also an 83 kilo lifter. Wanted to keep this footage in because I think this is interesting. Another guy working out or warming up the morning of the competition. And notice in contrast to what you saw the poles doing, he's going to do compound movements. And I thought it might be interesting contrast. There won't be any commentary. It's not too long. but. Watch the compound movements he's doing as opposed to just going through the classic movements that he'll be competing in later in the day. So once again, it's Yuri Miskovitz from Russia, 83 kilo lifter. He'll be lifting maybe it's about eight hours later than you're watching him right now.
This is 100 kilos. Uh, Raymond did a set with 50 and MO with 70. Might have stretched before that, before I even got in here. He's a top 10 super in the world, and uh, he's unique because he also competes in the world's strongest man, another strong In fact, he was just fifth in uh, this year's world's strongest man, fifth in the 97 world's strongest man. Uh, real nice guy, strong, powerful. He's, um, just told me I forgot, but it was about 137 kilos or so. He said he was more muscular after the World's Strongest Man contest, but now he's more powerful. That's his dad, who looks to me like a straight Russian bad guy out of an early James Bond movie. And I told uh, Raymond once that I thought his dad looked like Medvedev, and he said they called him the Latvian Medvedev. I don't think he see his gold front teeth, but he's got him. This is 110. I'm sorry. It's 120. I'm used to seeing 20s on the other side. 120, I don't know what name we'll go today. I guess maybe 160 or something like that. We'll see. It's a little cooler today than it's been. His dad was doing a demo over there, getting him some coaching advice. 120 again. So much fun, I guess, I've been snatching it around the 160 rounds. That's it, the snatches. Oh, this is good. I see some listening up exercises. I mean, this is feet rolling way over. I saw that the other day. I don't know if that's intentional, if it's of necessity. I mean, he's not flexible enough to get into that position without, while staying flat footed. and jerks, say, I don't know, in the neighborhood of 230 or so. And here he is warming up with just the bar. So remember that the next time you feel embarrassed to start off with just the bar. Shouldn't, it's the, it's the thing that champions do. There you go, 70 kilos. without any special training in strongman such as just as his basic training in weightlifting. The strongman for the money to help support himself because the Latvian government support for weightlifting has been cut way back. But he told me once weightlifting was his first hug. This is 120.
example, the guy who doesn't sit down in between the sets, he just paces back and forth. Dad's got a comment. I think uh, maybe just sort of indulges his father in this stuff. I mean, he really likes learning, but. That's it for these guys. Um, I asked because I didn't remember, and uh, Raymond said uh, he's done the number four with Glass and Stone, but he's never done the number five. It's Friday afternoon, and uh, didn't really expect anyone being here, but this is a real treat. This is uh, Tui Wenha, China's um, great 108. It's a uh, world-class snatcher. Uh, could break the world record for all of them. Might even have the world record right now. Um, not quite as good in the clean and jerk, but just ferocious snatching. Got a real trim little waist for a 108. Uh, this guy's got like 0% body fat. But we're going to see what he does because he lifts on Sunday. It's be interesting because we know what kind of training regimen these guys are used to. Snatch over 200 kilos on a good day. Okay, here we go, 50 kilos. This guy is also the only world class lifter to build, always lifts without socks. I've never seen him wear socks. We've got 80 kilos now. can do pretty moderate power snatches. Oh, I'm sorry. No straps. I have no idea how he's gonna go. That's gonna be one of the real interesting things to see. Two days out. 120 again. So this might be the weight that uh, he's just gonna work. Just as soon as I thought that uh, he was going to go up. That 
that was the end of the workout as far as the snatches go. So now we're starting off clean George 50 kilos. I wouldn't find a good set of abs on a 108 in the place. I just wouldn't find a smaller waist. Got 90 kilos. If I understood, correct, if I understood correctly, one hall was telling me that he rolls to clean and jerk around 227.5 in this contest. I wasn't sure if that's what he hopes to do or if that's his recent best. I don't speak any Chinese, unfortunately, and he speaks very, very, very English. But uh, 227.5 is a number to keep in mind when he competes, as we're watching him train right now. There's 120. There's 140. Yeah. Power clean. Split jerk. I thought I was going to power jerk it. Okay. Split jerk. There's 150. So doing some compound here, not necessarily the same stuff from set to set. Just loosening up, I guess, just kind of playing. Uh, look at this. Looks like he's probably going to do some pulls next. Uh, let's wait and see. It's 190 going here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It 30. Uh, so now we're, you know, around where I think he's hoping to end up in the clean and jerk. 